After the guide to NASA's instruction part, and my name is Sandra, and here's my colleague Vicky. We are subject librarians, and uh, today's speakers will introduce the library service and the resources with the slides. And first of all, we have the main library and the several branches. They are located in the different buildings on the NTU campus. And there are six departmental libraries, law, physics, chemistry, oceanography, and the LIS library. And there's an ASI service center in Zonghe lecture building and Ku Zhengfu Memorial Library. Whereas the medical library is on the downtown campus. Let's look at Gu Zhengfu Memorial Library. It's opened in 2014 with the College of Social Science reco uh, relocated to a new building on the main campus. The building was designed by the famous J uh, Japanese architect, Mr. Toyo Ito. The library is located at the center of the building from uh, basement to the second floor. A forest-like reading space is created with stacked bamboo bookshelves and furniture. The building is a famous spot in NTU, so I recommend you uh, have a tour of Gu Zhengfu Library. Let's turn now to the medical library on the downtown campus. It's the oldest medical library with the largest medical collection in Taiwan. It offers a bright and comfortable environment with a remodel in recent years. You can take the shuttle bus or take uh, MRT at N uh, NTU Hospital Station to get there. Now we'll move on to the library's website. You can find the service option within the main menu on the top of the NTU library's website and some search tool for our library locations. Besides, you can check the library's opening hours on the website. Please click uh, on the more hour button since different floors have different opening hours. It's best to check before you come. During the regular semester, the main library is open until 10 p.m. from Monday to Saturday and 5 p.m. on Sunday, while the opening hours during summer and the winter break are slightly different. For students, I recommend you to click the links option of the main menu and check the student column. Here are some web pages that may help for, for you. And next, I will introduce the facilities in main library. To go to the library, besides to read by yourself, there are many online resources and the services you need to know. So when entering the library, first of all, it's important to set up the internet connection. For students, there are two wireless networks, NTU and NTU PIP. You can choose one of them and enter your NTU email account without add symbol and domain name and password to use Wi-Fi. By the way, the Wi-Fi service is provided by Computing Center, so you can use the service everywhere on the NTU campus. If you need a seat for studying, but the main library is closed, you can go to the 24-hour study room in the basement. NTU students can register a seat on site and enter with their student ID cards. Notice that the study room will close at 5 p.m. on the last Sunday of each month. If you want to talk and discuss with your friends, there is the discussion area in the basement. The area is free to make sense, so you can discuss with each other, but no food and drink in this area. NTU students can enter the uh, discuss area with ID card. No application is needed. Also, the area will be, uh, will be closed at 5 p.m. on the last Sunday of each month. 
and after the remark of first floor, here comes a noisy area for you. And there is a digital media commons which provides multimedia equipment and lots of collections, as well as seats for audiovisual enjoyment and e-learning. As you have been introduced short before, the whole concept of a first floor is to encourage you to foster your creativity. You can use the collaboration commons and the discussion room to discuss, collaborate, and have brainstorming and inspiration with classmates and group partners. And the rehearsal room is for personal use. You can practice and rehearse your presentation to improve your delivery and confidence. The, discuss, uh, the discussion room are located on first to third floor and provided for academic use. The number of users are limited for a group of three to eight people. Please do not smoke, eat, and drink. And you can make a reservation on the library webpage in advance. Before using the discussion room, please go to the check-in machine to tap at least three ID cards within the first 15 minutes of the borrowing period. So how to make a reservation for spaces on library websites? First of all, you have to find the NTU library space management system the URL and QR code here, or you can go to our library website, find the service option in the middle of the main menu, and find the facilities section, then choose discussion room uh, reservation option to get the link of the system. And here's the system's URL. Then click it and log in with your NTU account. Then you, you will see the page. You can click the reserve button to make the reservation for discussion room, rehearsal room, and the media hub. And after online reservation, please go to the check-in machine to tap the ID card within the first 15 minutes uh, of the borrowing period. And there are also for, uh, photography, uh, printing, or scanning service on different floors. Users can buy the copy car at the B1 copy center or use the car vending machine on each floor. Besides, some copy machines are available to use the easy car. And I'd like to remind you, be aware uh, of the intellectual property rights. So uh, the scanner are provided for scanning and your library collections only. And remember that NTU student can borrow books from all branch and the departmental libraries in NTU. And of course, you can return the books at any library regardless of their original location. When the library is closed, you can use the outside book drop located at the main library on the left side of the gate to return the books uh, you borrowed. And please note that the actual return date will be the next day after dropping off the books. And besides, there's a self-return machine in main library on the left, uh, right side of gate you can use the machine to return the books by yourself at any time. Okay. Next, I would like to introduce some of our services. To enter the library, please use your own NTU uh, student ID card. And please don't let your NTU student ID card to others because it's uh, it against the library's regulations. If you forget to bring your own ID card, uh, you could use the NTU mobile library card to enter the library. How to use the mobile library card? There are two kinds of mobile library cards. The first one is to download our app, it names NTU Lib. And the second one is to add the library's official line account 
enhance ads into your lab as a friend with your smartphone and link it to your NTU email account. Then click the mobile library card icon to get a QR code. So you can use the QR code to enter and exit the library gates or borrow books. And just a few reminders, the mobile library card is for personal use only. It's not allowed to use the physical car and the mobile car at the same time. If you want to borrow books, it's time to use your student ID card. For students, you are allowed to borrow up to 80 items, and the loan period per item is 60 days. If the loan period is up and no one makes the request, you are able to renew the item online. However, if the, if the book is reserved by another user upon checking out, the loan, library, uh, the loan period will be shortened to 14 days. If a book is already checked out by others, you can make the request online, and the max, uh, maximum request is 30 items. Okay. We also have a lot of music and uh, video collections. You can search our uh, library catalog and come here to get them. And please notice that the multimedia materials cannot renew and request online. And next, how to renew the books which I have borrowed? Please go to the library website and click the Login My Library button on the search bar, and the library account is uh, sent as your NTU email account. After login, the username will appear in the upper right corner of the uh, web page. And then click on the name to show the list and select my circulation record. And you can view and manage your loans. The list below are books currently borrowing. You can click renew button on the title you wish to renew. If the item is overdue or reserved by another user, the status of the item would show uh, not renewable. Okay. Let's look at the renewal rules in a, uh, a bit more detail. Um, borrowed books can be renewed, and the new loan period is calculated starting from the renewal date. And there is a maximum loan period of 240 uh, days for each uh, reader. Within the period, a reader can renew borrowed materials an unlimited number of times. For example, today you borrow the book. You can renew the borrowed book an unlimited number of times, and due date would be 60 days after the day you click on Renew button on the library website. And the maximum loan period is 240 days. But when you already borrow the books for 230 days, the renewal will, uh, will only extend the due date for 10 days. Well, the renewal rule sounds great. However, the renewal won't be complete if the book is overdue or another user reserve it. Okay, so the next problem is, if the book is checked out by someone, may I request it online? The answer is yes. You can request the book if someone already checks it out. As the picture shows, the status of the book is unknown. So if you want to make a request, you need to sign in with your NTU email account. Then you can click the request button to make the request of the item. The function ensures you in the first in, first out waiting queue, which lets you attend the book as soon as possible. And next, you can select a library where you will pick up the book. 
and click send request button to submit the request. To verify what items you have been requested, please move to the cur um, move your cursor to the up, uh, upper right corner and switch to my request. If you uh, no longer uh, need a book, you can remove the requested item by click the cancel button. When you request, uh, your requested item is available, you will receive a pickup email notice to remind you. It will be held at the service center for five working days. And to confirm the receptions of all library notifica uh, notification emails, uh, remember to check the personal details on Sling and it's best to leave your NTU email address as contact email and here's the edit button. And all of the library notice letter will be sent to the email address, such as overdue notice, hold pickup notice, and the recall notice emails. And as a reminder, please do not use the Google email address because the mail server may block the Gmail. And now let's talk about record notice. If you borrowed a book yesterday, but today you receive a record notice email from NTU library, how should you do? Don't worry, the reason why you receive the email is due to another user makes the request of this book, and actually your long, uh, your long period will not be changed if the book is reserved by another user after it has been checked out. You can still return it on the original due date. But if someone else requested for the book uh, before it's borrowed, the long period will, uh, will be shortened to 40 day, uh, 14 days. And if the book or journal you need is not available in NTU library, how could you obtain the materials from other school's library? Books, are, uh, books and uh, documents not held at NTU can be borrowed from other libraries in Taiwan through the interlibrary loan service. And the regulation is if you borrow books from other libraries you, uh, by yourself, it's free. If you do this process via library, you should pay the fee. Okay. NTU Library has interlibrary loan agreement with over 100 academic libraries in Taiwan. So at first, you should figure out which library has the book you need. Then you can apply for an interlibrary loan card at circulation service desk in NTU main library. Next, you can go to the cooperating library to borrow books by the car. And after you finish using the car, please return the car to us. And each car can check out up to five books and the loan period is three to four weeks depending on the rules of the cooperating libraries. And this is the child library loan service. NTU, NTNU, and NTUST have launched child library loan service. And our students may borrow books from the other two universities' library through the service. At first, you should activate your child library loan service accounts online. Then you can use your NTU student ID card to enter NTUST and NTNU libraries and check out up to 10 books for 30 days. To activate the child library loan service, please click the service option of main, uh, main menu on our website and uh, visit the child library loan service webpage. 
However, if it's not convenient for you to go to cooperating libraries in person, you can choose the charging services. And here are two systems for different document types, the JADE and the NDDS. JADE is a system for requesting journal articles not held by NTU library. And if you need an other document type, such as a book, a copy of book chapter, or a thesis, please use the NDDS system. Okay. For more information about the service, please check the library's website. Okay. Hello, it's my turn. <laughs> um, my name is Vicky. Um, next, I will introduce the resources and search tools. First of all, NTU Library's catalog is called SLIM. The abbreviation SLIM means System for Library Information Management. When we say you can use SLIM, it means you can use the system to find the books, journals, newspapers and, uh, in the li NTU Library. It's a handy tool you should know. To start searching, there are four tabs in the search area. The first tab is catalog, which includes the library's collection, journals, ebooks, e-journals, and audiovisual media. The second tab is discovery system. You can search for an article title here. No matter what kinds of resources you need, you can start from SLIM. There is a search box in the middle of NTU Library website where you can type in the title, author, or keywords. Now I click on the second tab, Discovery, and input Big Data, and then click on the search button. The search result uh, integrates physical items and electronic resources, which means this resource might be on the bookshelf or available online. After clicking the title of a search results, the book's details or the access approach will be displayed. However, there might be too many search results. Here is a refine function on the left hand side. It allows users to refine search results by a various criteria and reduce the number of results. You can limit the result to articles and books published during specific years by modifying the year field. And click the Apply Filters button to narrow down the results. Here's a record of a printed book. If it says available and there is a code number afterward, it's a physical item that we hold in the library. You will need to write down the location and, and the code number, then come into the library to find a book. Besides, if you want to borrow the book back home, you also need to check the status and loan policy. Then you will know whether the book is loanable or not. For example, the book is located in the main library's second floor humanity and social science area. And the book's code number begins with LB2395.7. When you arrive on the second floor, you will see the labels on the sides of the shelves that identify the range of code number on those shelves. Then you can find the book you need. Here is a record of an e-book. You can click the link in the view on like section. Then get the full text or read the e-book on the browser. Just a few reminders. Because e-book usage differs among publishers, you may have limitation in printing or downloading. Here is a record of a journal article. You can also download the PDF full text. Although it looks really easy, but there are some small things you should be concerned, like the coverage of the journal. As the figure shows, there are two sources for accessing these journals. The first one covers from 2008, but the second one covers from 1972. So if you are supposed to find the article published in 1991, you should click on the second link. 
advanced search is another way to optimize the search result. So you can narrow down the, your search to locate more specific information. If you want to learn advanced search, you, you can go to our library's YouTube channel. Our channel is at ntlib underscore help. Let's turn now to the dissertation and thesis in ASRS Service Center. The usage is different from the main library. Most thesis and dissertation are located in ASRS Service Center. The items held in the center can be found in SLIM, and you may place an online request. First, you need to sign in with your NTU email account. Next, click on the request button and the pickup location is limited and set as default with ASRS Service Center, and then click on Send Request. After successfully requesting the item, you will receive an email notification. After receiving the email, please pick up your requested item at the ASRS Service Center. Pay attention, ASRS Service Center is not in the main library, so where is it? It's located in, on the first floor of Zhonghe Lecture Building. Next, you may wonder how to find the full text of the dissertation or thesis on databases in Taiwan. You may find the full text on the following databases. If you want to browse thesis or dissertation of NTU, you can use NTU TDR. If you want to browse or dissertation of all university and college in Taiwan, you can use NDLTD in Taiwan. If you want to get full text as much as possible, you can use LT library. By the way, if you are not in NTU campus, please set up VPN. I will introduce a VPN later. Besides, how to find the full text of the dissertation or thesis from other countries? PQDT provides abstract and full text of master thesis and doctoral dissertation, mainly from the United States and Canada. Some are, from, some are also from South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. If PQDT doesn't provide the full text you need, you can try the relevant, relevant database DDC, Digital Dissertation Consortium. Here's another tutorial video about finding thesis and dissertation from NTU Library and Worldwide. Uh, you can watch our tutorial video on our YouTube channel. The next topic I would like to focus on is databases in NTU Library. Using databases can narrow down the search scope. If your information need is specific, is specific the database is more suitable for you. So how to use the databases that NTU Library has purchased? To use databases, you can go to the library website. Click on the third tab, Databases. If you already know a specific database, just type the database title in the search bar and click the search button. If you want to browse all accessible databases through the NTU Library, Click the database link under the search bar. It will connect to the database page. Here are three kinds of lists sorted by content type, subject, and title for browsing over 600 databases provided by NTU Library. In topics, there are general databases often used. In feature databases, there are important databases basis of each subject. Before searching, there is a notification for you. Most NTU library e-resources can be accessed in the campus network. If you are at home, you can access databases, e-journals, and e-books remotely by the off-campus internet connection service, also known as VPN, virtual private network. By using VPN, you can access e-resources outside the NTU campus. You need to do some setting for the first time. The instruction page is under service menu on the library website. You can follow the 
direction step by step to set up your VPN. While VPN service is provided by NTU Computer and Information Networking Center, you can call it, you can call it Computing Center or Zhong in Chinese. If you get trouble in uh, when setting up the VPN, you can ask them for help. One more important thing to remind, you have to enable VPN service before you set up. Now we enter NTU Computing Center's website. And please click on the first link. First link. It will direct you to the web page to log in with your NTU email account and password. After logging, please choose the fourth option in the service list. And there will be an English version uh, for you to finish. I suggest you see the sample picture and turn over your student ID card, then enter the right most four digits of the numbers here. After successfully activating your VPN privilege, you can install the VPN software on your computer's laptops or smartphone. The software is post secure and the app is invented secure access. Now, let me introduce some useful databases for you. Web of Science is a multidiscipline database that indexes thousands of selected academic journals. It includes high value journals, which are SCIE, SSCI, and ANHCI. Like the Web of Science, here's another database, Scopus. It's also a multidiscipline database and easily, easily search the relevant article by the citation network. The following database is Stage Research Methods. It supports research at all levels by providing material that guide users through every step of the research process. It includes textbook, journal articles, case, and data sets. We also subscribe to se several multimedia, multimedia databases. Alexander's three press databases collect millions of audio tracks, videos, documentaries, and images, mainly in art and humanities. You can use the packet video library to learn Python, JavaScript, data science, and web development by yourself. If you would like to learn more about Web of Science journal citation reports, EndNote or EBSCO host, welcome to register the workshop for international students in this semester. By the way, we provide a user manual. You can download a guide for further information. Welcome to follow us on Facebook, IG, Line, and YouTube channel. If you have uh, any further question about NTU library resources and services, please feel free to email to us. You can also visit the service counter on the first floor of the main library for assistance. It's the end of the workshop. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>